Well, our next guest needs no introduction, but that's why I'm sitting here to introduce her. I'm going to do one anyway. Shot putter, Dame Valerie Adams, a four-time world champ, four-time world indoor champ, two-time Olympic, <laughs> here's your one-man support man, three-time Commonwealth Games champion, and has twice won the IAAF Continental Cup. There's more, but that's all that's going to fit in this intro for now. As well as that, she's been an inspiration to many when it comes to work-life balance, having to plan her life around her family's needs and sporting commitments. She joins me now, Morena Dame Valerie Adams. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much for having me. I'm surprised you have time to come in this morning. I You've make got time. Two young kids. I do have two young kids. And yes. you're what? Full, back to full-time training for Tokyo. Yes, I am. How do you do this? Um, good planning, um, obviously, with two young kids, being a wife, being an athlete, um, and a mum. It's, it's pretty difficult, but if you plan well, then everything goes goes to plan. Hopefully, I've got a good support network around me, and we kind of make it work. Do you use anything in particular? Like, have you had to make some adjustments and changes, obviously, to becoming a mum the first time round, and yeah. then the second time round adds another layer of things you've got to do and got to remember. How do you do it? Do you know it's it's been quite full on. Um, for me, I've been able to, to to work with people around me to make that happen, but also I've signed up to a um, an, an app that I use. It's the AIA Vitality app, and and that helps me not only plan for myself, but also plan for my family. Um, you know, it is quite hard to keep on top of things, especially looking after myself. If I don't look after myself, I, don't, I can't look after others. And that's what I've kind of found out, especially my two young babies mean so much to me. I've got to make sure I'm in top notch for them. If not, I'm not going to be a very good mother to anybody. Really. Your brain's so full, you're sort of passing it off to keep it yeah. all parceled up in one place over here. And that just keeps an eye on it and tracks everything for you and reminds you of stuff to do. And otherwise, you just keep going with your training, getting ready for Tokyo. Absolutely. Because, you know, as a mum, you do think of everybody else except for yourself but it does just help me keep on track you know even those small little health checks like teeth and boobs and all the rest of it <laughs> I don't know if you can say that on here but I just, well, you just, <laughs> did, so, that's right. just so tell me how is the training going training is going very very well um, I'm looking forward to heading away to some warm weather and training camps overseas um, Are you take your kids with you of course I can't leave them behind it's just a little bit too long yeah. Um, yeah we'll be away for the next couple of months so I am looking forward to that massive year next year it is a it's gonna be a massive comeback for me um, I've done it the first time run with Kimoana six months after having her through the sunroof I was at the Commonwealth Games now my son's six months and I'm looking forward to competing at my fifth com uh, Olympic Games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got to keep track of which competition you're actually going to. Absolutely. Point, you? Are you doing some, sorry to interrupt, are you doing some diamonds? Are you going to do some diamonds? Uh, yeah, hopefully. So, all, so the season's finished now with the World Championships just finishing with yeah. Tom um, winning a bronze medal for yeah. us yesterday. Yeah. You know, massive, like it's a bittersweet moment for us, but um, he did ex exceptionally well. Um, yes, but Diamond League start up next year and I hopefully to compete in some of those. And what, sorry, am I allowed to ask this question? Because I'm absolutely <laughs> fascinated. Yeah, you got Women's shot put is so competitive now. So what are you going to have to shot to, to to win a gold at Tokyo, do you think? What sort of distance know, are we talking about? Over 20 metres, I think. Um, with the woman shot put this year, however, the winner threw 1955. So the level hasn't been that flash for women's shot put right. in the last couple of years, but which, which is good for me. But, you know, everything will change for the Olympic Games. It always has, and, 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 and it will be like that. Men's shot put, however, is on fire. It Nuts. is absolutely on fire. Yeah. One centimetre um, separating all three of them is just extraordinary. Yeah. It's exciting, eh? Hey? Yeah, very, very exciting. And look, you love it. You still love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're totally animated when you talk about it. Yeah, do you know, I still have the passion there and the fire burning, and I think if you've still got it, then you know, um, in, internally it actually makes it easier to, to put in the hard yards. So I love the sport. I love the fact that, you know, Kiwis are out there still rocking it for us, and it's awesome for throwers and the future athletes of New Zealand. Man, I feel enthused just like <laughs> yeah, listening yeah. to you. It's great. Hey, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Dame Valerie you. Adams, what a great guest to finish and, with. And also good luck on your road to Tokyo. Yeah. Thank you very we much. We really wish you well. Thanks.